Hello, BoobTube. I'm back. So soon. Lucky you. Anyways, it's my comics review time. This is probably going to need to be split. Ugh. This is probably going to need to be split into two videos. I can't even talk. Um, because of space constraints on my phone just keeps getting worse and worse. But anyways, not much in the Turtles verse right now, but the 2022 annual. In this one, it takes place non, not long after uh, Splinter dies and the Turtles are in disarray. And so Leonardo takes it upon himself to plan a mission to try and bring them back together. <coughs> Excuse me, because although they're living together and they are together, they're still so far apart with everything that's happened and how they all feel. So he leads them on this secret mission into this sewer where they confront this mystical being that actually uh, feeds on fear and insecurity and unhappiness so it feeds off the four of them and it defeats them so they retreat and go regroup and kind of talk things out and and think of the good times and and talk about the, the bad things that have been happening in their feelings and they decide to go back stronger as more more cohesive unit they're able to do it defeat this monster and in the end they go back to the sewer that which they hadn't been to since splinter died uh because the pa memories were too painful and they go in and, and have kind of a little a little reunion there in the in the sewer in the old lair and uh and things are looking up as the issue ends uh but we all know stuff happens way after that this is just kind of an experience uh that happens to them after splinter's death Next up, Transformers. And first up is issue 14 of Beast Wars. In this one, uh, two Decepticons, Scorponok and Waspinator, or Predacons, whatever they're called, are out and they discover this weird red glowing energon that's really powerful. So they bring it back to base and uh, the Predacons plan a little use for it. So later on, Dinobot and Optimus Primal are out setting sensors around their ship and in the jungle and stuff to keep tabs on the Predacons when the, they're actually attacked by Black Arachnia and uh, uh, Tarantulas. And they end up planting some of this Energon as a bomb on Dinobot's back. Optimus Primal goes to get it off and gets blown up. And this Energon, what it does, it's almost like a dark Energon sort of thing. It turns Optimus Primal into a raging lunatic. And so he's being mean to his own soldiers and stuff like that. And uh, then uh, the Predacons bait him into uh, kind of attacking them. So he's... Ah, charging towards the Predacons and stuff. And that's when Me Megatron releases an ally named Polar Claw, who transforms into a polar bear. And he engages Optimus Primal and actually defeats him. And the last thing we see is Polar Claw saying, we have Optimus Primal in our custody sort of thing, right? So it'll be curious to see where that goes. Next up, the regular ongoing issue of Transformers, number 41. In this one, um, Lodestar, the Titan, has just landed. And uh, although um, Stryka and his Decepticon forces are still pressing the attack on the, the Autobots, they, th they say, do you want to rethink this? Like, we have a Titan. But the Titan's really beat up and can't really do that much. But released from its inner depths is a combiner named Computron. Uh, so this Autobot engages Stryka's forces and eventually Stryka's like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe we better not push this because we're getting our asses kicked now, right? Um, so then... In, in, then uh, they want to kind of they kind of had this weird truce almost and what optimus prime wants to do is get to dark mount to rescue uh all these people and get them to safety and and also help out the people at dark mount who are engaged still engaged with the the insecticons at the time in that invasion um so then in the end they it kind of ends with optimus Tr prime calling in a truce to megatron uh to talk about a truce and and where they go from there uh and meanwhile uh Megatron, or sorry, um, I forget the name of that bot, the one that had the walking base, talking about we need to def to find out where the Insecticon base of operations is. So they're obviously going to be searching that out in the next episode. Next up, Transformers Wars End number two, which ties into that regular ongoing series. So this actually picks up at the end of that issue when Optimus Prime radios into Megatron asking for a truce and, and we need to work together to defeat Exarchon and, and everything else that's going on right now. Um, and then so Soundwave and Starscream enter and say, oh, we got evidence that maybe you should consider a, truth, a truce with Optimus Prime because it does look like Exarchon's back and, uh, you, you know, we could use some help getting rid of him and then we'll deal with the Autobots afterwards after the dust has settled there. So 
there's lots of things going on in this issue outside of that. Uh, that big dinosaur looking bot, Terror Sor, whatever his name is, I forget. I forget who it is. Um, he was rooting, trying to defeat some Autobots who had hidden from him. Um, they find this massive drill and they use it to escape. Um, but then the, the, the dinosaur guy chases them. Um, Jump Stream gets released in the Sea of Rust for some reason um, to monitor things. Um, Onslaught and the uh, Combaticons combine forces with some other Decepticons to further press the Autobots, whereas um, other, other Decepticons want to have a truce with Prime. So it's just a bunch of little um, subplots going on in, in this issue. And in the end, we see Jump Stream up in space going, what is that? Is that a Titan coming down? And But Lodestar is the only Titan, and it's are obviously already in play. And in the, the last thing we see is Devastator falling from the sky and landing on Cybertron. And it's like, oh no, Devastator's here. 